welcome the Holy Spirit, Lord. Yes. 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 This is the day that the Lord has made. I'm going to be glad and I'm going to rejoice in it. Yes. 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 Personally, I just love the Lord. Yes. Yes. He is worthy to be praised. We welcome everybody who is online. This is New Hope Baptist Church of Prince George's County, where I pastor this great Carl Tillman. And our first lady is Joan Tillman. Amen. 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 It's time to praise them. Yeah. Some of us have had a long, hard week. Some of us are tired. Some of us are bedside Baptists and they got your phone and you're listening. And, and, and you, that's okay because you can worship him anyway. Yeah. Amen. 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 We know the people are the church. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We always say hallelujah is the highest praise. You can yeah. find it in Revelation. It's, 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 it's a word. Hallelujah simply means praise and joy. Yeah. That's exactly what it means. Praise and joy. Yeah. And we want to worship you, Lord. We want to sing hallelujah and give you praises. It's the baseline of what we can do. We just want to give you honor and we want to give you glory, Lord. Yeah. It is the bare minimum of what we can do. We can't do anything more, Lord, but to praise you, to worship you, to pray to you. And to try to walk Christ like if you have asked us to do, Lord. Hallelujah. You deserve all the honor. Hallelujah. You deserve all the glory. Yes. And you deserve all the continual praises, Lord. Yes. For we know that you are here, Lord. Yes. We know the Spirit dwells within us, Heavenly Father. And we, Heavenly Father, are your humble servants. And we just ask you to forgive us, Lord, for anything that was not kind in your sight, Lord. We ask that the meditation of our hearts, yes, Lord, be acceptable in thy sight. Acceptable, Lord. As, like I said, it's just a baseline for us to tell you that we praise you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you for the things that you're doing that we cannot see, Heavenly Father. We love you for the things that we don't understand, Heavenly Father. And Lord, we love you for the family and friends that we can lean on, Heavenly Father. It's a very, very important. I thank you for my church family. You deserve it. Yes, you do. You deserve it. And it's a simple praise song. We've heard a thousand times. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. Ah. Uh -huh. 
forward in our service. I am now going to move the service along and bring up our first lady. Amen. Deacon Joan Tillman. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Truly, God is great and greatly to be praised. We bring you greetings. We are the New Hope Baptist Church of Prince George's County. The Reverend Dr. Carl Tillman is our pastor. Amen. And we greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We are so blessed. We also invite you to join us in our Sunday school and in our Bible studies that will resume in the month of September. Amen. I am going to share with you, and then I'll read the scripture and we'll have prayer. And then following that, our church clerk will come up with announcements, and then we will have a sermonic selection. Amen. Our Sunday school this morning, I want to share with you briefly, and I will be briefly, they're talking about faith and how we are to always display our faith. And I wanted to share a verse from the Sunday school lesson. Now, if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and it will be given to him. And we talked about Wisdom is different than knowledge. Somebody can be very well learned, have a body of knowledge, have credentials behind their name that certify that they are a, a specialist or an expert. That's not wisdom. We okay. pray for God for wisdom. Yeah. And I want to share with you all something that we've all learned uh, is wisdom. And I'm sure you all this will be familiar to you. Have you ever heard, I'm your mama, you're not mine? <laughs> That was some wisdom that was being imparted. You had to bring some, uh, uh, write some of them out. Have they ever said, boy, or look, or listen to me? Mm -hmm. Reverend Carroll told us that what his daddy would say, boy, I will snatch a knot. I will snatch a knot. <laughs> but we know what they mean. But there's this meaning in this. You're getting on my last nerve. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get to where you are pretty soon, OK? I brought you. Into this world, I'll take you out. Wasn't that said with authority? That was said with authority. They meant what they said. As long as you're under my roof. That was said with authority, wasn't it? So my mother would tell me, girl, go sit down. Nobody paying you any attention. That meant to sit down. But what we're saying is we learned from that. That was wisdom because we can still say those things. But they had meaning. You can take many of those things and apply to your relationship with God. That's right. With our relationship with God. Who brought us in? God. We might have cut on somebody's womb, but without God, it would not have been possible. Amen. Right? Now, one thing they would also say, this hurts me more than it hurts you. And some of us are still struggling to understand it. But we look at God's grace and mercy. And I'm not saying this to be flip or facetious. I'm saying this because knowledge is imparted to us in many different ways. We learn, we listen. The knowledge that was imparted to us that we're able to recite those words, but they had meaning and they also had consequences. God's word has meaning and consequences. And it's incumbent upon us to share, not just to relish and, and share with each other what we went through, but share with generations, the people we come in contact with, how important it is to have the wisdom of God and how more importantly to use it and share it with others. I thank you for allowing me this time. And we talk about many good things like this in our Bible study and in our Sunday school. So we do invite you to join us. The scripture I'm going to share with you is Psalms 100. With those of you who are able, would you stand? Um, those in the, in the sanctuary. And please don't be offended by Deacon Tillman, those of you who are on the screen. If you're doing something that takes your attention away from the scripture, would you please give God the reverence that his word deserves. Amen. I thank Amen. you in advance. Amen. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, yes. all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Yes. Come before his presence with thanksgiving. Yes. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. God. It is he who hath made us and not we ourselves. Mm -hmm. We are his people mm -hmm. and the sheep of his pasture. Yes. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving yes. and into his courts with yes. praise. Yes. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. Yes. His yes. mercy is everlasting. Hallelujah. And his truth endureth to all Hallelujah. generations. Yes. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his yes. word. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Yes. All ye lands. Make a yes. joyful noise. Yes. We know how to make noise. Yes. We know how to celebrate. 
we know how to enjoy being in the presence yes, of those we love and those we mm -hmm. care about. Yes. So we make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Yes. Yes. We are truly the sheep of, your, of his pasture. Yes. We are thankful unto him. Father God, not asking for anything because you've already delivered. Yes. Yes. Father God, not asking for anything because you know what we need. Yes. Lord, there's a time to ask, Lord God. There's a time to ask, Lord God, but even more importantly, there's a time to praise. Yes. And so, Father God, we're making a joyful noise into the Lord. Lord we're the, we make noise at games, at, at events, when we see each other, we have a cookout or whatever, Father God. We make a whole lot of noise. Yes. Sometimes the whole neighborhood can hear us. And that's all right, too, Father God. But, Lord, we're going to make a joyful noise and choose the Lord. And this is our joyful noise. And we say, thank you, Lord. And we each thank him. You thank him personally. You call it out. You say, thank you, Lord, for what he did for you. You call it out. You let God know what you did for me. You make it personal. You're not ashamed to thank God to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Thank you, Lord God. We're making a joyful noise. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. something um, from the Taylor family and the loss of their matriarch, um, patriarch, and it reads as thus. Um, I'm going to read the beginning in the note that they wrote to the church. If we live, we live for the Lord. If we die, we die for the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Yes, sir. Romans 14, 8. In memory of Amos A. Taylor Sr., passed away on August the 10th, 2022, and it reads as thus, Dear Pastor Tillman and the New Hope family, we, the Taylors, were soothed by your prayers, acts of kindness, and caring words. Your support during these difficult times was very much appreciated and of great comfort. You have touched our hearts. Your thoughtfulness will always be remembered. Thank you for being there and keeping our family in your prayers. Yours sincerely, Alice Taylor and family. That includes Jennifer Leland Rogers, Amos, Glenda, Taylor Jr., Connie Taylor, Felicia, Richard Jackson, and Dion Taylor. Amen. And on behalf of New Hope, we'd like to say that we pray that God continues to walk with you all mm -hmm. during your time of bereavement. Mm -hmm. And I know you know just as well as me and anybody else in here that he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. And we continue Amen. to bless you and the family. Amen. Amen. I have a few announcements. Um, that are important to our growth. And what we plan on doing for the upcoming year, which we should be excited about, because it's been a minute. Yeah. Yeah. First and foremost, we're having Family and Friends Day, September 11th. Mm -hmm. There's been information that's gone out, and information will continue to go out until the day gets here. But keep in mind, it's already, what, the fourth? Yes. So don't blink. Don't next blink. You're missing. Next Sunday. Next Sunday. Next Sunday. Be here. Be yes. here. If you haven't said you're coming, it doesn't even matter. Just come. Just Amen. come. We Amen. love to celebrate with you and fellowship with you and have some good old fashioned fun, which we've not been able to do in almost three years. Yes. So if you don't come, don't stay. You know, I'm sorry I didn't make it, but you're going to miss out. I'm telling you that. You're going to miss out. So be here. We love to have you. Bring your family, your friends, your neighbors. <laughs> Somebody you think that may need some support, anything you like, you know, if you can think of somebody that you think wants to be here, you know, we welcome all under any conditions. We love to have you. And for business moving forward, um, there are going to be a few advisory council meetings um, in the next couple of weeks. We're going to be talking about some strategic plannings for the upcoming year. There's been information sent out via your email that discusses what the leadership of the different ministries should be doing in preparation for these meetings. Um, if you're not getting this information, please let either myself or Secretary um, Sister Ruth know so that we can open the lines of communication because we'd hate to miss anybody. 
It's going to be in-house. Each one is going to be on Tuesday. The first one is going to be on the 24th of September. These meetings are being held in conjunction with our church meeting, which will be in October. So mark your calendars, check your emails, be prepared to come participate, talk to your ministry um, members, you know, so that we can formulate some ideas and keep this church alive and do what God has asked us to do and bring individuals to Christ. <coughs> With that, I'm going to turn it back over to our choir for our symbolic prayer. Amen. And I pray you have a good holiday and a better week. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. I'm sorry. No, no, you good. Amen. Thank you to our uh, church clerk. And we're going to get ready for our sermonic selection. So, Sister Vicki is going to lead us in one of my favorites. I've got to sit there by all the songs. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like all the songs, I can't help it. But Sister Vicky, you want to come up here? Sure. All right. Amen. Um, because he is the Lion of Judah. Yes. Yes, he is. He rules and he reigns. Yes, he does. I think we had some praise up in here this morning. Yeah. And some shouting up. Heard some hallelujah.
Amen. Amen. The Rogers, uh, amen. We're, we're so glad to, to see uh, our sister Veronica, amen. And, amen. and Ruth, as I see you, y'all forgive me because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about uh, uh, I had to do a, 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 a funeral uh, uh, yesterday, and it reminded me that, that sometimes we hurt. Sometimes we struggle. As I look out and find that we have uh, uh, had to visit one place or another for uh, sending home one of our uh, mothers and fathers, sisters, brothers, uncles, cousins, and nephews. But I need to share with us, we need to lift Jesus up. Yes. We need to lift Jesus up. Yes. We need to remind folks that God is still God. Yes. And no matter what we're going through, we're not going through it alone. Yes. So we come to lift him up. Yes. We come to help somebody. Yes. And, 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 and I just want to share with you, if you will, a, 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 a couple of verses, amen, this morning, amen. Uh, Psalms 42 3. Psalms 42 3. And then we're going to switch to the book of Matthews. But in Psalms 42 3, I uh, uh, just want to read uh, 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 one verse. One verse. Psalm 42 3. Amen. If you rise, amen, for the honoring God's word and the hope that we have in Christ Jesus. Psalms 42 3. My tears have been my meat day and night. While they continually say unto me, where is thy God? Would you then uh, flip over, amen, to Matthew 2 and 2. No, it's not Christmas time. We want to go to Matthew 2 and 2. And pick up where... Let, 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 let's, let's do one and two, amen, where it says, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and have come to worship him. Amen. Uh, brothers and sisters, if you don't mind, I want to take a theme of where is God? Amen. Heavenly Father, our Lord, and our Savior, Father, in the midst of all our trials and tribulations, Lord, there's a burning question, a consuming question that we all may have to face one day or another. Where is God? So, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that you would use me and help me, Father God, as I seek to, to take meditation upon your word and share it with your people, Father God, that we may have an answer somewhere to the question, where is God? And then seek him with all our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, uh, brothers and sisters, I share with you that the uh, Psalms 42 and, and, and 47 uh, it, it, it is called the Book 2 of Psalms. Uh, uh, what it was done, it was written to share with the people of Israel in the midst of their captivity, in the midst of their oppression, in the midst of their hurt and pain, mm -hmm. to know how to get over and get out. Uh, uh, brothers and sisters, can I share with you that in our recent history, in our nation, homes, and family, that we've been going through some frustration, some times, some troubles, some tribulations, that we've been wondering how to get over and get out. Yes. Somebody may even have been asking, where is God? Oh. It's one thing when the nations, the heathen, those who don't know God, ask us the question, where is God? Well. But it's something even more when we, the children of God, are asking, where is God? Come on, preacher. Mm. In all that transpired in our nation, in the community, in the world, uh, uh, in the last few years, uh, 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 there's a lot of oppression, a lot of trials and tribulations, a lot of pain. But, 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 but to those of the household of faith, it has even been harder because God has been with us so long, has blessed us so much, I think that we may have taken him for granted. But God is good. Yes. His mercy endure forever. Yes. Has God been good to anybody? Yes. Yes. This is, the song said, help me to lift him up. When we think about the goodness of God, doesn't it make you want to lift him up? Yes. Don't you want to 
praise God and say, God, you've been good to me. But brothers and sisters, can I share with you that, that sometimes when you're going through the going through, Sister Rogers, uh, uh, when you're going through some stuff, Sister Taylor, when you're going through some stuff, Leland and, and, and Veronica and, 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 and Ruth, when you're going through some stuff, sometimes. I have seen everything during my lifetime yeah. of futility. Yeah. There is a righteous man who perishes in his righteousness, and there is a wicked man who prolongs his life in wickedness. I believe it comes down to a more basic and yet complex question. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem, there came some wise men uh, uh, from the east uh, 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 to see where was he that was born king. In other words, they were asking, where was God? Uh -huh. Have you been searching for God lately? Uh -huh. Has hurt and pain caused you to wonder where God is? And, and maybe, if we want to admit it, sometimes wonder, is there a God? Uh -huh. But I, let, 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 let me start just by saying this. Let me give you some ideas to consider. First thing, God is above us. Yeah. He's over us. Yeah. He knows us. He created us, and we should worship and trust him. The earth and the fullness is of the Lord. Psalms 125, 2 says, As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so God surrounds his people from this time forth forevermore. In other words, God is all around. I don't care where you go, God has your end. God is your mountain. He's your rock. He's your fortress. He's your strong pavilion. He's that secret place that you can hide in. God got you covered. Tell somebody God got him covered. See, see, you may not realize, but even when you're going through, God got you covered. I, I was reading something and it said that God does what he, what he really don't like to get you where he wants you to go. Y'all think about that a while. Okay, and, 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 and let me share with you, let me share with you, when our friends and family let you down, God is there. Yeah. Anybody know that God will be there even when other folks turn against you? Yeah. Even when the government don't like you, your, your teacher hates you, and, and, and it seems that nothing is going right. I need us to understand that God is there. Yeah. Not only is God uh, above us, but God is before us. Yeah. And he said to them all, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself, pick up his cross daily, and what? Follow me. I need us to know that, that, that in the times of Joshua, when, 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 when they were ready to cross the Jordan, it said, look at the ark of covenant, which belongs to the Lord of the whole earth, who will lead us across this Jordan. I don't care what storm you're going through. I don't care how the currents are. I don't care how deep the water. I don't even care if you can't swim. God will take you through. Come on, and God will go before you. He will scatter your enemies. He will fix it for you. He'll fix your heart, your mind. He'll make a way out of nowhere because God is for us. Uh, 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 be sure that God goes before us so that what? He can scatter our enemies in the morning and bring us back home at night. What a wonderful God we serve. Listen, listen, read and understand in the text of, 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 of Exodus where it declares that, that the Lord went before the people of Israel as a cloud during the day. God is with you. God is before you. And, and then he says, God is also behind you. I need somebody to take care of that past right here. Know that God is behind you. He, 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 he declares, he, he declares here that, 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 that you will hear their voice in Isaiah 30 and 21. Your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way to walk. Whenever you turn to the right hand or whenever you turn to the left hand, you can hear the word of God that will teach you how to walk. Because God is behind you. God is higher than you. God can see where you're going and where he wants to take you through. He can let you know that, yes, we're ready to enter the valley, but we're only passing through. Tell somebody we're only passing through. Uh, tell somebody who's going through grief right now, we're only passing through. Uh, let them know that sorrow and, and trouble will only endure the night, but joy will come in the morning time. Am I talking to anybody this morning yet? I need us to know that God is with us. Psalm 91 1 declares he dwells in the, in, in, in the shelter of the most high God. Yeah. Those who hide in God, God is with, and God will keep you. Yeah. How many know that the Lord declares in Matthew 28, though I am with you, oh, I thank 
make you suffer and believe. So that means that even when it don't seem right, even when you don't know how you're going to get out, you know one thing, God is with you. How many know if God is with you, God will make a way out of nowhere? How many know that all things are possible? How many know that this is the day the Lord has made? And listen, listen, God doesn't say, I don't care what the day brings. I, I don't care what comes your way. He says rejoice in what? Be glad. Be glad means it's a choice. You can be glad even when you're going through the going through. Why? Because one day I'm going to get over. Yeah. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, 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 we yeah. stumble. We stumble in this world because as we walk, uh, uh, we like blind men in a strange lane. We stumble and fall over wise tales and fables. We stumble over folks' uh, uh, misinterpretation of the scripture. We stumble because we believe what other folks say instead of believing in God. Uh, some folks will even tell us that there is not a God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? If you look at the day, listen, if, if, if I had never heard of God and I, and I came back today and somebody talked about a God of love, a God of mercy, a God of grace, talked about a God that was always with us and, 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 and who will bring us joy, I would wonder rather there is a God. Well, I, I'm just saying. But brothers and sisters, some will say that even if there was a God, where is he? I'm glad you asked that. The same place he was in the beginning when he created all things. Oh, right. it, 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 it's where he was when he decided to make man in his image and his life. See, it's the same place he was at when he breathed into the dirt and made the dirt a living soul. Where is God? Where he, he's the same place he was when, when he told Noah to go build an ark because he was going to destroy the world. He, he, he's the same place he was when, when he commanded the animals to come two by two into the ark. He's in the same place that he was when he closed up the ark and when he took the people over to the promised land. He, he's in the same place, brothers and sisters, uh, 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 that he was when, 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 when he so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. He's in the same place, brothers and sisters, he was when, 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 when men turned against God and didn't want to and obey God. He's in the same place, sitting high and looking low. He's in the same place he was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace. Anybody been in the fiery furnace? He's, he's at the same place uh, where Paul was in the midst of the storm for two weeks. Uh, he's in the same place he was when, when Jesus came walking across the troubled waters to tell the people that he was. Uh, a God is in the same place he has always been. Where? He's near you. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you. God is near you. God wants to save you. He's only a cry away. Oh, wow. yeah. God, God, God is so near. Can I stop and say we are now in a place in time where we have never been before. Calling ourselves the people of God, and sometimes people look at us and wonder exactly what that means. Uh, 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 they're wondering, they're wondering, and as they read the news, and here are uh, uh, some folks who call themselves Christian out there rioting in the capital. There's some, there's some folks calling them Christians, and they're out there shouting about hang this person, kill this person. There are folks out there who proclaim that, that all people are created evil. There's some Christian folks, folks calling themselves Christians, who are confusing the world about where and who our God is. Oh. And brothers and sisters, can I share with you, it's our privilege, our responsibility, our right to go and share with them about who our God is. Oh, God. Yeah. See, sometimes we spend so much time about where God is, we forget about who God is. Oh. When I'm not saying you worry about where he is instead of who he is. If you know that he's the omnipresent God, that means that he's everywhere and at all times. That means that you know that his arms are not short. There's nowhere he can't go, nowhere he can't reach you. You know that he is the one that if you go down to hell, he's there. If you go up to the high mountain, he is there. God is everywhere. And he's always with all time. Can I share with you, my brother and sister? God doesn't wear a time match, an Apple Watch. He doesn't wear a Gucci, a Gucci. He doesn't wear a Rolex. A, a God has the time all in his hand. And God knows the right time. I promise that we don't know where God is or who God is, and we don't know the right time. But the right time is when God shows up. When it was the song of time, and, and man had gone through all kinds of hell and high waters, when, when, when they seen no way out, or uh, when man was dying and, and couldn't be find a way to make his way up to heaven. In the sundry of time, when man, when you and I were on our way to hell, God so loved the world, he sent his only God. Where is God? Sitting high, looking low. Where is God? He's still in the temple. Where is God? He's in us. Somebody should be thankful that God is in us. Listen, listen, God ain't that far away. You don't have to get in on your car. You don't have to uh, get an airplane. You don't have to get a passport. You can fall on your knees and call God right now. 
How many know that you're the church of God? And if nobody knows anything else, if they don't know who's going to win the election, if they don't know that they're Democrat, Republican, or Independent, or confused about whether they're men, women, boys, or girls, you can know this one thing. You can tell them that I know who Jesus is and that he saved my soul. He picked me up and turned me around and placed my feet down on a salad ground. Where is God? Sometimes our family cries out, where is God? Has he not been talking to you lately? Where is God? He's in my troubles. He's in my storms. He's in my poverty. He's in my health. He's in my marriage. He's in my mouth. And Lord God, I thank you for being in my life. Where was God in the psaltery of time? And I share to you, wherever God was, God is. That's right. Where was God when blind Bartimaeus cried out, Son of David, have mercy on me? He couldn't even see, but he knew he was close enough to cry out to God. Where is God? The place he was when the ten lepers from a distance cried out to him. I know that if you will, I can be clean. Yeah. How many know that God's still in the clean yeah. 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 Where is God? The same place he was when the centurion sent folks to get Jesus. He's in the same place he was when the centurion sent them and told them to, to, to please heal his servant. He's in the same place uh, uh, when, the, when, when, when he got down and started to walk toward the centurion's home. How many know that God is walking towards your home? Yeah. He's in the same place when the centurion sent word to him, Lord, you don't have to come. Your word is sufficient. Brothers and sisters, is God's word sufficient for you today? Yes. Do you, do, you, do you believe in the authority of God's word? Yes. Do you believe that he, when he speaks, it will be done? Yes. God loves you, and he says that whosoever shall call on the name of Jesus yes. shall be yes. saved. Yes. Yes. Trouble will last always, yes. but joy yes. will come in the morning. Yes. This joy that I have, the world can give to me, this joy that I have, the world can give to me, this joy that I have, the world can give to me, the world can give it to me, the world can take it away. Lord, that 
they will come to know it, Lord, that they will seek you with all their hearts, minds, and spirits. Now, Father God, let your word go out, Father God. Let it hit his mark, Father God, and let them come and declare how can I be saved. Yeah. We thank you for who you are. Give you praise on you, Lord. Let the people of God say amen. 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 Listen, no matter where you are or your needs, yes, sir. if you have faith in Jesus' word and authority, he will speak from wherever he is. Yeah. And it will be done. Yeah. No matter where you are, the Lord God is never too far away to hear, feel, and to be with you. Yeah. And to be with you. Yeah. You can call trusting him that he will show up. And when he shows up, he will show out. Yeah. Yeah. My friends and family, God is where he was and more who he is as the omnipresent God. He is at all times and everywhere desire to be saved, for you, to save you, and for you to be with him. The question is, are your arms too short to open the door to let Jesus in? The doors of the church are open at this time. We invite you to come. We invite you to make up your mind in the name, name Jesus as your Lord and Savior. It's really about who God is, not really about who you are, God, who God is. He's asking you to let him in. Will you let him in today? I was just to invite you in. Will you open the door and let him in? I was to offer you to accept on me, Jim. Will one of the one that will come this day and give their life to Jesus? Is there someone who's downtrodden who will give their cares and cast them all upon him? Will you come to him just the way you are and ask him to cleanse you, forgive you, and to make you whole? God's word can heal and meet all your needs, but you've got to come to him. When you come this morning, when you come in the name of Jesus, this hour to offer yours to accept. But please, don't leave here not knowing that God is as nigh as your tongue is nigh. Amen. Amen. Let's give God praise. Amen. We thank God. We thank God for this Sunday. Amen. For this day, this hour, this moment. We thank God for this fellowship, your friendship. We thank God for your praise. We thank God for giving your life to him and trusting him with all you have. Amen. And I need you to understand that he will never forget you, never. nor forsake you. Never. Amen. Amen. I need you. Let's go in and go out with praise. Amen. 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 Let's continue this week praying for one another. Yes. Let's continue this week praising God. Yes. And let's think about 
the love that God has given us this week. Amen. Amen. Until we see, the, see each other again. Let everybody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.